G'day and welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at a game called Shadows of Doubt. Now, you might be aware of this one. It's been in early access for quite a while now. And uh, as of the 27th of September, they've released their 1.0 version to get that out of early access. And what this is, is basically, my understanding, is a procedurally generated city um, where you play a detective and you go around solving uh, simulated generated crimes, basically. It's, it's hard to explain. I think it's best just to jump in and take a look. So I've not had a chance to try this yet. And uh, what about here, a sandbox or a ah, an introduction? So like a tutorial mission, I suppose. Play in a pre-made city or generate a new city? Um, does it start you off with a... Nice, it does, yep. We'll just start with all the defaults, I suppose. Medium city size with a whopping population of 368. May as well just keep it all default to uh, get started with the uh, tutorial. Brian Davison, Solal Schwartz, whatever. Let's just let's just go. Would you like to enable the tutorial text to guide you through how to play? Uh, yes, I will. Help can be accessed at any time through your handbook, through the main menu, or with F1. We have a little intro cinematic. The late 20th century. Well, that's chugging. Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elected megacorporation president in history. Starch Cola. What a name. Love the synthwave music too. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. So it's a bit uh, dystopian. I didn't expect that. I thought it was like a like a noir crime setting. I didn't quite expect it to be sort of this futuristic alternate history. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatized starch cola enforcers. Looking good. I really like this art style. We gonna get into it? Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. In the shadows of doubt, maybe? Very cool. The dead of night. 158 a.m. Tuesday, January 3rd, your apartment. Okay, it's very dark. Awake again. So cold. Turn on the bedside light. Okay, left click to interact. Turn on the light switch in the lounge. What have we got here? A nice little uh, bit of artwork. Storage boxes. Is that a padlock on a cardboard box? <laughs> oh cool, so most things are interactive. You can open drawers and cabinets. What is that? A document. And awarded to Solal Schwartz, that's me, for outstanding investigative duties. Wonderful. Money. Money can be used to buy items in the world, acquire genetic upgrades for your character, Pay for information, decorate your apartment, or buy a new one. Okay, maybe this is more than just uh, solving procedural crimes. That's locked. That's, no, it's not. There's a key lock on it, though. Where am I going? Turn the last switch, switch on in the lounge and the kitchen. It's a lovely kitchen. Packing tape. To access your inventory, press X. Okay, nice, coins, watch, fists, packing tape. Synth beef, synth chicken, synth pork. Never go anywhere without my synth beef. The key. 
So is this taking up? Look at that. A hairpin. Keep a look out for paper clips and hairpins. It can be used for picking locks. Nice. So is this all taking up space in here? Where's my hairpin? Anyway, we need to go to the lounge and turn the light on. Sorry, I'll try not to dawdle too much. This is all just brand new to me that you've you might have seen before if you've seen this game in its uh, early access life. Bandages, splints. Can you flush the toilet? That's a good test for any game. No, oh, no, instant refund. Anyway, let's get through this tutorial. Diamonds are a PI's best friend. Hello. Who is this? Search the apartment for clues. Screwdriver. The field's housing district for exemplary employees. Okay. Search the rubbish. There's a note under the front door. So there is. When you inspect an item, it brings up its evidence window. This can be pinned to your case board for future reference using the pin at the top. Pinned items are displayed as icons that you can move around the board by dragging their pin. You can position these items to, you can position these items you wish and select them to bring up their evidence window. Facts or connections are displayed as a string. You can hover over these with a cursor to see more info. Use F to pause any time and examine the case board. Select the name Laurel Hardeman on the note. Pin Laurel to your case board using the red pin. Pin the note. Close the case board with F. What does the note say? Find Laurel Hardeman. Note found at 203 Lovelace View. That's my apartment. So we've basically created like a, a case file for this individual. We know 4% of his details and that is his name. Look at all these details, holy moly. Everything from his working hours, his salary, his handwriting, his connections. Nice. Interesting. I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> if this is a job, it's a lousy way to do business. Inspect the city directory. Now, kids, you may not recognize this. This is a phone book. Okay. Look him up in the directory. Oh, Hardman. Uh, where are we? In that to the case board. So, found his address. It's an apartment in Etheridge Heights. Plot route. Okay. Ah, so that's how you pin it on your map and you can go find it. Find old detective equipment. What was I? Retired was I or something? Could lockpick this maybe? I... Oh, did I just lose my only lockpick? Shame. Uh, I hope I didn't just lock myself out of that. 
completely. And find another hairpin. Nothing under the cushions. Eraser. Battery next to the toilet. Surely if there were hairpins, they'd be in a bathroom. There we go, paper clip. Each lock has its own strength. When you start the process by interacting with the door handle or lock, the indicator bars will tell you how many picks you need to complete the lock pick. You can also use them to sabotage security systems. Nice. So if I head back here. There we go. That was enough to get it done. Detective stuff. Okay, press X to open your inventory. We knew that. The top groups of items do not take up inventory space. These are for your vital tools of trade. The lower section features slots that can store other world items. Drop or scan picked up items of fingerprints. Once an item is selected, you can assign hotkeys to inventory spaces by selecting them and pressing the desired button. You can also view info about the current status effects and how to get rid of them in the inventory screen. 30 lockpicks, nice. So I've got coins, I've got a print scanner, handcuffs. Okay, open the case board with F and select Etheridge Heights. Ah, was that just telling me to set the, the route which I've already done? Unlock the door. Ah, right click to unlock the door. Lock that behind me. Who's that? Hello? Hello, neighbor. Uh, hello? How are you doing? I'm alright. Uh, could you provide your fingerprints? I'm arresting your suspicion of murder. Got any spare change? <laughs> sure, anything to help? Oh, thank you. Take it. I think that's got two dollars. Thanks, neighbor. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, footprints. Why are the footprints? me in. No one's home. I could lockpick it. I wonder if there is any significance to those. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, I've already got all this information because I've actually seen this person. Um... Oh, look, I don't think you're connected to this case somehow. What am I doing? I'm just leaving. Oh, no, no, no. Don't pick my pick the mailbox. <laughs> Here we are. Out into the rain. I haven't been at the bar. What? I'm wet. I have a status effect of wet. That will happen in the rain, generally. So is there... a map? Oh, here we go. It's not the most detailed. You have access to... Oh, I said you could toggle that on the screen. I don't know how. Anyway. Where am I going? Oh, is this it? Nine oh two. Is it a security room? Trespassing. Oop. I didn't do it. You didn't see anything. Nine floors. Can I take an elevator? Well, 
Are these footprints? Or are they my footprints? Because I'm just coming from the rain. <gasps> Suspicious green beard. Nine, please. It's very suspicious, that man. Four nine. Nine oh two. To know if a door is locked or not, you'll first have to try and open it. Okay. 12% strength. Oh, sorry, 13% strength needs three picks. When breaking into a room, it's a good idea to check for cameras. If you're worried about them, you can turn them off by using the security breaker box connected to the camera. You can trace the red wires from security systems to find these boxes. It's worth checking under the doormat for a key. Or ventilation system, the classic vent entrance. You can also break down the door. Um, let's start with the uh, doormat. We're in. Just acting casual while the camera's not looking at me, and we're in. If you find yourself somewhere you shouldn't be, you'll gain a trespassing status. If it appears in orange, citizens with authority will ask you to leave immediately. If it's red, they'll attack. Keep on after air ducts you can escape to in a hurry. As well as hiding places like under the bed. Look around for vents. Well, there's one. Okay, so the bathroom is my... Key to escape here. Okay, how do I? Investigate the property. So hopefully no one's home. Is that a gun? What is that? Doctor's prescription. Laurel Hardeman. Chronic pain. Treatment of depression. Beta blockers. High blood pressure. Diabetes. He's a healthy boy. Sync disc upgrade vial. Upgrade one of your installed sync discs. Ah, okay. Tampons. Wonder if he's not living alone. Money? Oh, that's stealing. Okay. Videotape. Is that worth something? Oh, a key? Alright, I need to do something with my inventory here. I'm going to drop my synth beef, or my packing tape. Um, oh, how do I drop it? I'm going to throw it. I'm taking that because that seems valuable. Printed V-mail. Oh, it's Miss Hardeman. My apologies. Thank you for recently contacting us to request a life insurance policy. You don't meet the required social or economic requirements. Why not check out our range of alternatives for ex-offenders? Interesting. Okay. So that was my mistake. Laurel is actually a woman. And she has been... An offender. She's an ex-offender. Uh, how do I leave? Okay. Commemorative Basboul. The owner is probably a fan. 
Well, you know what? That's relevant. That's relevant. Baseball fan with diabetes that narrows it down a lot. So. Business card. Tawny Corporation is the office. Am I getting somewhere here? Okay. Another note. Remember your passcode this time. Count it backwards from six. Shred this ASAP. Count backwards from six. Interesting. It's amazing all the detail that's in this. Code breaker. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? I'm going to eat the synth beef. I'm nauseous. I think I should... I think I should not eat raw synth beef. <laughs> Just throw a bloody chunk of meat on the floor. Code breaker. Can be used on keypads or even keyboards. Okay. Why can't I leave? There we go. An address book. Rue. Knox. Mary. Interesting. Let's keep that. Wrench. There's a camera right there. Oh, we have a uh, casualty here. Unknown citizen. Could this be our Laurel? I need to identify this person. Search the rubbish bin. Synthetic milk in a wax paper carton. Well, that's lovely. Now I've got the stinky debuff. <laughs> I went through the rubbish. Oh, no. Wait, I was got an achievement. I found a hidden door key in the bin. Apparently. Duct tape, metal bucket, katana. Okay. Oh my god, it's a weeb. What else can we find? Books. Starch candy. Gramophone. Bible. Nothing in those drawers. Fire extinguisher. Oh, what's this note? Safe code 6543. Nice of you to just leave that hanging in your kitchen. Paper. Watch your back, rat. Don't forget who owns you. Tonight, you need a piece. Go to Scarlet Crafts and Hardware. Knock, then give the password Rampage. G. Oh my goodness, how deep does this rabbit hole go? So I need a photo ID. I need to analyse this. Bullet wound from low caliber ammunition, eight millimeter. God. A 
square paper napkin that has been used and crumpled into a ball. Wonderful. The victim has been violently shot to death with a pistol or revolver. The time of death is between 1.15 and 2.30 on Tuesday, 1979. Linked to photo and fingerprints. I really need to find an ID. Affirmations list for this week. You don't need anyone's approval. So many notes. 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. If I was an ID, where would I be hiding? Oh, there's multiple pages in here. Right, employee me employment agreement. Tawny Corporation. Nice. Okay. An eye <laughs> examination. That's so much information. Landlord. Katori Cardinal. There's a whole bloody tenancy agreement here. Certificate of birth. But still no ID. I'm just going to get in the bed. Righto. ID card. Oh no. Um six five four three. Interesting. Lots of information. No IDs. Call me, G. G was also in another note, wasn't it? Oh man, this is disorganized as hell. <laughs> what a mess. G, this one. Tonight, you need a piece. Might be getting off track there a bit. I just need to find this ID. Big fries, fried chicken. Made by a Laurel. Some useless trash. Meet Knox at Raven Restaurant. Be careful what you say. Jeez, the amount of detail. Rue by birthday. Twenty-eighth of December, Laurel Hardeman birthday. Good to know. New Leaf Association for the Legally Challenged. Okay. Am I blind? Am I missing something? Oh, no, I don't want to go down there. Where else might an ID be? I feel like I've exhausted all the obvious places. Never found a wallet or a purse. Now that I've gone through and absolutely decimated the crime scene. Why is there a sentry gun in the bedroom? I don't know, I think I'll just have to leave. Don't know where I'm going. Where am I? 
someone else's house now. I'm just a petty thief now. I'm not doing anything sus. I'm just going to jump in here to add something. I searched the apartment for this ID for a good 15 minutes before I found other clues and went my own way. The rest of this video is the outcome of taking this unintended path. However, I was curious to see what would change in a new save. So after this video, I replayed the tutorial from the start twice more. Both times, right there on the kitchen table was the photo ID. This progressed the tutorial as it was originally intended and directed me to a number of leads, such as the Raven restaurant where there was evidence of Laurel dining before she was murdered. There, I accessed the security system by posing as a health inspector and identified Laurel had been at the restaurant with an unknown individual. By viewing the camera and identifying which table they sat at, I was able to find a piece of paper they left behind which identified the unknown person. Using a directory, I tracked them down and paid them a visit. They were very helpful and scared they'd be the next victim. And they provided me with a name, Gleb Olinik. I just wanted to add this because it shows just how deep and incredible this game can be. Even by doing things completely wrong, you can still look for the clues and potentially get the result you're after, just by finding the right information and connecting the dots, and maybe getting a little lucky. Anyway, on with the playthrough. Let's try this print scanner. What would the perp have touched? Fingerprint type B. I wonder if any of these fingerprints will be mine. Okay. You may find telephones throughout your exploration of the world. Each telephone has a telephone number and you can perform several basic actions including finding out the telephone number, finding out who last called this telephone. How do you do that? Identify last caller. Telephone number 143 3683. Oh, hang on, right here. Gleb. This is the one signing off as G. In apartment 702. Maybe that's the way to go. G is in 702. I'm currently in 902. Okay, 702 is right there. There's an alarm. Can they walk down the street anymore? I need to break in there somehow. Wait, I can probably get in from the vents in this apartment, right? Oops. Where was it? Assuming these are all connected, I'll just go down two floors, right? Just hopelessly lost now. <laughs> Where anybody home here? Seven oh two. I made it. Gleb, you're now eligible for an enhanced membership in our affiliate program. I guess that could be relevant. 
They worked at the same place. Type B fingerprint. Knox Hinton. Okay. Yeah, I'll steal your money. I'm not above that. No, it wasn't. Files. Also high blood pressure, also diabetes. Also an eye exam. Another tenancy agreement. Gleb is a male, blood type A+. Plus. Keypad, so I don't know this code yet. Praise uncle, he will lead us to our Eden. Blood is sweet when it is shed with reason. Gleb, remember your passcode this time. Count up from two. Nice. A business card. Executive assistant. Okay, so we've got Gleb over here. A sync disc. An upgrade vault and a letter. Fine for misdemeanors. Assault by pointing, trespassing, possession of a deadly weapon, disturbing the peace. So this person is not very nice. Oh god. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, how do I deal with this? Do I punch him and handcuff him? Oh my god, these hands. <laughs> cool the super about that smell. What was that? Come and find out. I know you did it. Let's figure out the culprit moment to perform a citizen's arrest. Okay. Get you out of the doorway, mate. How do I use these on you? Um, you're okay. Take his fingerprints at least. Let's search him. Got nothing. <laughs> it was this all for nothing about just beating the crap out of this person. For no feasible gain. This game is chaotic. Where's my code breaker? Crutches are digital pers personal computation devices. They're common in most apartments and white collar workplaces. Hell yeah. God, he's awake. New target details. Knox. Laurel.
Don't set any alarm. Don't set any alarm. I need to leave. I need to leave. So. He's 100% guilty. So I know he did it. But I still haven't identified the victim. I still need to find that photo ID that's somewhere. I'm also being hunted. I just... I want out. I want to go home. Just casually leave. I'm fine. I do have a flashlight. That's good to know. Hey, who are you? Oh. Is this how you thank me for catching a murderer? What's happening? Did I escape? I think I might have. Wait for that little bar to go down, then I should be in the clear. I still stink and I'm wet. <laughs> According to the uh, UI there. Um, where do I live? <laughs> I'll use this map. I don't really know what I'm looking for at the moment. There's a pharmacy. This is a genetics lab. Install sync disks. I really should focus. However, Receive money for exploring lo new locations or 10 for exploring vent ducks. I think locations are going to have more frequently. Okay. So I get money for exploring. What does this do? Same thing, okay. Um, that's great, but where is the like, police station or detective's office? Or maybe this. But how do I get in? Oh, the front door, that'll do. City Hall. How do I report this person? Who are you? Evening, what's your name? Mind your own business. Nice to meet you. Sync discs. More micro crunches. I need to... I actually don't know what I need to do. Weapons locker? Okay. Well, good to know that's there on Brooks Street. Alright, now that the dust has settled, I'm going back to the apartment. I'm going to... march up to... floor 7. I'll take the stairs. I'll take the stairs to seven. 
702, I'm knocking on this door. Open up. Don't make me come in there. Hello. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Shut up or I'll call the enforcers. Alright, so how do I... Handcuffs, I've got five. Hey. Now I can handcuff him. I don't feel so good. Who is it? I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Took you long enough. Why did you commit murder? I don't know, but I'd do it again. Got any spare change? <laughs> Okay, so I've arrested him. I win. What do I do though? I'm gonna call the police with his own phone. Excellent. It's all over for you, buddy. Cops are on their way. Uh, are we in lockdown? Have you seen anything unusual? Nothing. I'll never tell why I committed murder. Gleb, you're a sick son of a bitch. How do I actually make the arrest? Especially now that everything's locked down. Oh, here we go. Yes, officer, this is the man. Officer? Oh no, I don't want to trespass. Hello? Here's the door. Alright, you don't go anywhere. Goddamn cuffs, shut up. Alright, let's do what the game wants me to do. Search for clues back at the crime scene. Which was uh, 902. Gonna go ahead and let myself in. Anyway. Good. Good. A receipt. The silent alarm has been tripped. Not being seen is your best chance for survival. Okay, so that is also the visibility detector in the crosshair. Alright, sort of already know all this. Can't be found here, they'll take me down. Escape the building. Well, this is a <laughs> an interesting introduction to the game. I think I've uh, broken the uh, process to some extent. I escaped the building. 
collect a murder case resolution from City Hall. Right, that's what I was kind of looking for before. So I could go there and like report to the police or something. Then my job is done. Resolution forms. Why didn't I look here? Um, get resolution form. View your case objectives by using the resolve button in the top right of the case board screen. Gotcha. What is the full name of the killer? Reward 1000 credits, penalty 100. What's his name? G Glorp? Glib? Glib. Olinik. Gleb Olinik. O L I Y N Y K. Arrested the identified killer. Yep, done that. Do you have evidence that places the killer at the scene of the crime? Um, yes, type B. Fingerprint. Where does the killer live? Uh, 702 Etheridge. You cannot rename this. I'm not trying to rename it. 70, 702 Etheridge Heights. Have you located the specific murder weapon? Uh, I've got the bullet, don't I? No, but I don't have the weapon. No, I don't. Let's go. Let's go hand this in. I don't need the weapon. And in case. Please wait for results. Here we go. Processing. Good, good. Solved. How good is that? Did it uh, backwards. 500 social credits. Hell yes. You can now purchase apartments in the city. Social credit level up. This is what it's all about. go home so it's crazy so even though I did that very wrong um, fumbled my way through but you know you could track the phone activity link that to a person in the address book found the evidence that they work together and knew each other Ooh, what's happening here notice the repossession Son of a bitch. Oh, don't want to go in there. Interesting. So now I have to go find Isadora Giannopoulos about accommodation. Use a city directory. Well, I've got one in my apartment that they cordoned off, didn't I? I guess that's my next mission, is to find a directory, find this person, and get a place to live. I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you very much for watching. This has actually been a blast. This is Shadows of Doubt, the 1.0 release out of Early Access, finally. Um, yeah, when I've had my eye on it for a little while, and I thought this was a great time to get into it, and I think uh, I think it's paid off. I think it's been very fun. So I'll definitely come back and revisit this one again. Um, I just like just how open-ended it is, and just how the possibilities, because obviously it picks... A random crime, a random victim, random perpetrator, random motives. Connect makes all this information and connections and makes it available and it's up to you to go find it. And, uh, you know, we did things uh, maybe not the right way, but uh, we got there in the end and it was satisfying to do it. So I'll definitely be revisiting this one. If you want to check this out for yourself, I'll leave a link to the Steam store in the description. And if you want to see more content like this and support me, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and will keep you in the loop when new videos drop. I'll be covering this game and I cover lots of new and upcoming indie games as well so stick around if you want to see more like that thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time